actually have six days to go before traveling. <music> Hello guys, so it's actually safe to say welcome back to my YouTube channel because <laughs> I'm starting a new vlog and this vlog is just going to be my traveling vlog. I'm traveling back to Nigeria. I know. <laughs> I still can't believe that I'm traveling but you know, sh things do happen. I don't just want to use those shit words. Things happen. Most times how you plan things to be doesn't really work out the same way but anyways. We bless God so far and uh, we know the universe knows the best and all that but I'm traveling back and I've been doing a lot of packing and unpacking for some days now this room is literally scattered like everything is just here and there <laughs> but still I'm traveling and I just decided to come up here and welcome you back to my channel yeah you're watching just want to welcome you back to the channel and also take you along with me to Nigeria so I've just been doing a lot of packing and unpacking like I said um, I just keep bringing our clothes and putting them back and I'll just be going with these three bags one two and three so I'll be traveling with these three bags but now my things are not properly like packed now So this is like the day two I'll be talking to you guys about my traveling journey and um, yesterday I actually went to the immigration to get my passport it was written that I'm going to get it on the 30th and yesterday was 30th so I went to the place to get my passport and these people were telling me that it's from 30 that they will start processing it and I have like six days yesterday I had six days now I have like five days to travel and I have to go to Guangzhou before traveling because my flight is gonna take off from Guangzhou right these people are just frustrating me because I wasn't really expecting this I was thinking today I'm gonna travel to Guangzhou but right now because of the fact that I haven't collected my um what's it called my passport so I won't be traveling today to Guangzhou I've postponed it to tomorrow and they said they were going to call me they said they were going to call me for me to come and pick up my passport today and i've been waiting for them since morning to call me and this is already uh 2 p.m and they haven't called me so with how frustrating it is i still have to go back to that place because i've been spending money to go pick my passport i've been going there i will spend money to go to that place i will transport myself to and fro and it's quite expensive because that place is quite far from this place and right now I still have to go to that place and my fears right now is what if I go to that place and they said it's not ready and they ask me to come back tomorrow again I have just five days to go and I need to do a test in Guangzhou because before you leave you have to do a particular test I don't know what's called but I have to do a test in Guangzhou before leaving and if these people keep delaying me this way it means I might not follow up with <sighs> cash rush, calm down. <sighs> if these people keep delaying me this way, it means I might not follow up with the flight, which it's not what I'm thinking. Like, I don't even want to think about that because I can't spend that money and end up not following them. I can't spend that money and end up just allowing it to waste that way. So I'm preparing now. I have to go back to the immigration office. I think I'll be taking you guys along, but I don't know how it's going to be like. I don't know if they will allow me to shoot with my camera since my phone is kind of faulty. But I'm go I am I was even planning to go to Guangzhou early, so I'll get a new phone. And right now, these people keep delaying me. I don't, I can't, I don't think I'm going to take you guys along with me because I can't just be taking videos there. But I don't know. I might. I'm just kind of tired. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to do anymore. But you guys will see how everything gets to play out, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> So 
so I'm going to go get another test done. I did one yesterday actually. But because I'm not traveling today and we just have um, 48 hours before it expires, then I have to go do another one. Because I'm going to take a I'm going to take a train while going to when going to Guangzhou. So I need to take another one today since I couldn't travel yesterday. This will just keep delaying someone and keep wasting someone's time. And the queue is actually very long. So we're gonna wait. So this stuff is actually taking forever before it gets to my turn. So I think the best is just for me to for me to leave and probably come back. So I'm going to take this one. We have jump for that thing. So I just hope this thing is recording. I actually turned the camera like I closed it for for people following me not to know that I'm actually recording. I'm entering the immigration hall right now. So this is it. It's written John for that thing. I just hope it's recording. Let me even check it. It's recording. So I'm at that place now. We'll be taking you guys inside. But it might be shaky because I don't want them to know that I'm recording though. Me inside there, and I was asked to sit down and wait. So, guys, uh, a very quick update I was able to get my passport, it's finally here. So, like I was saying, it's finally here, and it took a lot of time. I had to go to the place and I waited. At first, they told me it wasn't ready and they wanted me to come back but i couldn't i was like i'm supposed to travel today i'm supposed to go to wanju today and if you guys keep asking me to come tomorrow come the next day i'm gonna i'm gonna miss my flight and i wouldn't want that so after everything they just asked me to sit down and wait i i did some clip but i don't know if it i don't know if it was really really clear and if you guys can actually observe from my expression i'm i'm like i'm feeling so tired and weak but yeah, I have to come up here and talk to you guys because I'm actually packing my things. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this evening. So I'm supposed to travel tomorrow, but um, that tomorrow stuff might take time because number one, it's very, very expensive. And number two, it's been difficult to find. So I just decided to like, okay, let me start my journey today. Any day I get to Guangzhou, I'll know. But as it is now, I'm going to be spending the night at the train station because my train for tomorrow morning that is, that is going to leave for Guangzhou is going to take off very early tomorrow so I have to spend the night at the train station today because if I say I should leave if I if I say I should leave from this place to to where I'm gonna exchange the train tomorrow I'm gonna be late so I'm talking too much already I'm just packing my things and let's go guys the next day <laughs> Spend the night outside and it just looks like um, I look brand new though. So yeah, 
I'm going to go outside now and go prepare for my journey because we are going to leave around 7.47. So, far you don't look bad. Updates about how my journey is going. I want to go look for what to eat because I'm I'm really really hungry now. I'm or the thigh, not even the thigh, it's just the leg. And then I'm using the staircase. Okay, I'm almost there. A quick question, guys. When you see McDonald's and KFC opposite, <laughs> which one will you go for? Because I actually saw McDonald's here and KFC over there. Can you guys see that? Let me see. Can you guys see the KFC? Yeah. When I was coming upstairs, I saw KFC there and McDonald's here. I was like, which one should I go for? But at the end, I came for McDonald's. So I'll be having this. I'm trying my best to catch my breath. My bag is down, down there it's risky to leave it alone but do i have any option so yeah i'm gonna be changing trains like i said so i'll be, I'll be going for this one then she just got your punch on cafe so my battery is currently low i think the only time i'll talk to you guys again is when i get to guanjo because this is not gonna sustain me, it's not gonna last. I'm looking so rough. I'm waiting for my makeup. This place is actually nice. This um, light mini is so nice. Oh my god, this is blinding. I don't even understand what I've been wearing since yesterday. Huh? Just carrying while carrying notes. I'll carry this one and I'll carry that one. Yo. I'll talk with, with you guys later. I've already explained that I'm going to be switching trains. I'll switch from here to uh, the one that will take me to Guangzhou. I started my journey last night and then I took the first train that took me to Chufu Dong. And from Chufu Dong, I took the second one that took me to this place, that brought me to this place. And um, I'm going to be leaving, I'm going to be taking my next train around. Um, okay so what was i saying i'm gonna be taking the last train from this place that will take me directly to Guangzhou. so this is the uh, third train for this journey but now i want to have my i want to have my breakfast slash lunch because i don't think i'm gonna buy anything again inside the train so guys i'll get to talk with you guys later okay peace out the next day hi guys so this is like a day after the clip you guys the last clip you guys saw that i was eating Woo. i was at the train station then right guys yesterday was really really hectic for me i was so stressed i was so angry these people are really treating us bad i kept saying that they're really treating us bad like last night i cried i wasn't i don't even know where to start like the last vlog you guys saw that i did the homeless stuff that i said i was stranded i wasn't even expressing myself that much i think i never even knew what even made me not to like feel emotionally depressed that day i don't know why maybe because maybe because i never really gave it much thought but last night as soon as i arrived there as soon as i arrived Guangzhou, it was really really painful 
I felt really depressed yesterday. I felt really down and frustrated. I was thinking about a lot of things. It was so devastating. And I kept telling myself, these people are treating us bad. If you go to, if they come to Africa, we don't treat them this way. We don't chase them out of hotels. We don't tell them not to stay in the hotel. We don't tell them not to lodge. If you're really wondering what I'm talking about, I think I'll link the video right here where I got stranded, homeless for the day. It was really, really painful. Getting to the train station, the agents that actually booked the train for me, I don't know. I don't know where this noise is coming from. Please just go, I want to talk. So like I was saying, the agent, I hope this lightning is okay because I think I'm kind of red here. The agent that actually booked the ticket for me was supposed to book the one that would stop me at bay. The one that was supposed to stop me close to this place I am. But where this man booked was quite far. Imagine the speed train from that speed train i'm talking about gout here from that bay to this nun is like 28 minutes if not up to 30 minutes now imagine the the car i had to take again when i arrived past seven i arrived there past seven seven thirty i arrived the city 7 35 pm and i still had to take a car the taxi took me from the train station to this place not less than one hour 30 minutes i was i was pained i was angry i was hungry the only thing i ate the only thing i ate yesterday was that little burger I, you guys didn't see that because my battery went off i was telling you guys that i'm going to show you what i wanted to eat but my battery went off at the process and the burger was freaking small for the price it was freaking not even the burger size not the main burger size i don't even know where they bought this kind of bread it was freaking small i had to manage that because i don't have any choice right i had to manage that and i ate that and i took off getting to the train station it was quite far from this place and when i got in the taxi all the toll gate fee apart from the 200 yuan that was paid to carry me from that place to this place all the toll gate fee i also had to pay it i was paying the toll gate fee i kept asking the man why is it me why is it my responsibility to pay for you he said when they bring someone from the train station and all this on um, toll gate fee that is the passenger that gets to pay for it it was so painful i was like how do i get to pay you 200 and also pay toll gate fee each toll gate we pass was five quiet and it was up to four toll gates like four guys it was so bad and getting to the hotel that I was supposed to stay, my budget, like the budget of what someone, it's not even just a budget, it was what someone told me that he paid the last time. And then getting to this place, it was times two. Guys, I'm not joking. Times two of what this person told me he paid the last time. And I kept asking these people, why? 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 I was already, I was already feeling so angry, feeling so tired and hungry and I was in pain because of my cramps. I was asking them why do I have to pay this money and they told me because um, from today they have China holiday and um, they, have, they have China holiday from today and a lot of people will be getting will be coming into the city a lot of people will be coming into the city is that why people have to take a lot of money from people that are trying to lodge i wouldn't want this rant to be too long but this was actually the reason why i cried yesterday it was so painful i kept telling myself these people are treating us bad these people are making us feel like we don't have a country these people are making us feel like without them we can't we can't survive in this world and that's how i felt the first thing I did when I came back was I was already craving a goosey. Uh, I was actually craving bitter leaf soup, but long true to I be. <laughs> when I got to the place, I told them to mix a goosey and obono for me, uh, a goosey and bitter leaf soup for me, which I ate, and it purged me. <laughs> Guys, my life throughout yesterday, th throughout two days ago, was really really hectic. Like it was really really bad. 
the stuff I, I, I was craving ended up purging me. So after I finished eating because I was actually hungry, I went to take my bath and that was it. I couldn't even come up here to talk with you guys because I was exhausted already. I was tired. I had to just finish taking my bath and the next thing I just made a call to Dogo and after that I just slept off. Right now I am dressed. I'm going to be going out and you guys, I think this vlog will continue from the next one, okay? It's gonna continue from the next one. So you guys, subscribe and wait for the part two of this video, okay? So that was my journey. Ciao, ciao, guys. Two days to my travel date. One day to my travel date. I'm leaving China today.